Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the No Money Spent Road to Glory, the second episode of the day. If you missed the first one, be sure to go ahead and check that out, because we did make a big addition to the squad. Is he on this page? He is. We bought the pink diamond Walt Frazier, we went into two games of Mighty Team Unlimited, and he was incredible. We absolutely killed it with him, so... Be sure to go ahead and check out the gameplay of him. The long ass video is like 40, 40 odd minutes or like 30 or 38 or something like that. So yeah, it's a long one, but it's definitely worth it because he is fantastic. We bought him for 60,000 MT uh, and he is worth every penny. So for today, we are actually going to Evo up our Jason Kidd. We've got him at the Amethyst level at the moment, at the second Amethyst level. And today we're going to get him up to the Diamond level, which is very exciting. We're going to see how he then compares to Pink Diamond, Baron Davis and Walt Frazier, because of course they are our point guards at the moment. And we're going to see if it's going to be worth it or not to take him up to that Pink Diamond level, which is going to be a long old grind. We've also sold quite a lot of stuff. Uh, so we're on 370k at the moment, but that is going to rise up through this video. And also I've got a lot of comments from yesterday's video to go through. So... Let's jump into it. So we are actually in the middle of the tournament or at the middle. We're at the start of the tournament. As you can see, it's been open for about 10 minutes. And the player you get as a reward is Byron Beck. I'm not going to lie. Never heard of the guy. Uh, but you can see there, if you finish 11th, not only do you not obviously qualify, so you've got to be top four. You only get an Amethyst card for playing four hours of Unlimited. So that is a joke. And again, you can finish fifth place. You don't qualify and all you get is a Diamond card for it, 95 Rages. So... Nothing crazy right there. As you can see, there's already a couple of people, obviously, on the leaderboard. Jin Sanity right there. Lena Nate, I recognise that name. Um, but yeah, obviously, we're not playing in it, and I am very happy not to be playing in it. We could probably do all right, because um, obviously our team is exceptionally good at this time. I'm really, really happy with it, but uh, I don't want to deal with the stress. So we come down here to the auction house, and we have got a couple of things that have sold. So Jim Jackson, I evoed him up to the Amethyst level during my stint getting uh, Jason Kidd ready. And we got him for 14,500 MT. Not bad at all. We got two Diamond Hidu Turkaloos. So uh, evoed up both of them from the Amethyst level to the Diamond level. And we got 31k for this one. And we got 32k for this one. This was an Amethyst Hidu Turkaloo. We got 24,500 for him. And then Jason Terry. So again, in the video earlier, uh, I did put this Jason Terry up for sale because... Obviously, we've got Walt Frazier now. He is going to be our backup point guard. So Jason Terry, 31,000 MT for him. And that puts us nearly at 500k. And we also still have three more Hedus right there. And another three. So we've got six Hedu Turkeys to sell. And I did think this tournament would make a change in his price. But it really hasn't changed at all. If anything, it made his price come down. There were Diamond Hedu Turkeys up earlier for 30,000 on the dot. Uh, which is why obviously mine were up at that price. And if you take a look at the Amethyst ones in the New Year's resolution set, um, our ones aren't selling at about 25k. And you can see why, because there's quite a few at 23k. So everyone, I guess, has had the same idea that I had that it would increase the prices, but it's just, you know, not done anything. So we've still got six more Hedu Turkeys to sell, which is awesome. Uh, so we should be able to get another about 150k from all of those. So we are going to be seeing on a lot of MT, that is for sure. Uh, what we got down here, we've got a couple of injury cards that we can sell. Um, but you can see, or you might have not seen it, but we are at 1,960-ish cards, I think. We're about 40 cards away from getting the 100,000 MT bonus from the 2,000 card collector level reward, which is awesome. So hopefully we're able to get there in the coming weeks. And then, of course, we can sell up pretty much everything apart from our investments that we have for tokens. So when they update the token market, whenever it happens, we can finally get around to selling all of these cards because it has been a long time coming. This Bill Warren, that's, that's not a bad price to be fair. We paid pretty much nothing for all of these guys and this set is for 200 tokens. So it might be worth it. But anyway, let's come down to the Evo section. And as you can see, Jason Kidd done the assists, done the steals, Five points are needed. So while I'm going over some comments, we will jump into a game of Triple Threat offline. And then we come down here to the other guy that I'm evoing up at the moment, and it is Keith Van Horn. So once I had the Jim Jackson done, I thought, you know what, I'll just do a Keith Van Horn this time. Done the assists, he needs the points, and he only needs 14 more rebounds. And when we get him done, it should be about another 15k. Um, I just thought, because I know DBG's made a video on this guy, I thought it might increase the price a little bit, and it has done so. So he's up at 15k as well so we're getting that back into the club as well so this is the squad that we are now having uh, or that we are now running with in unlimited uh, obviously with this Walt Frazier at the backup point guard position this squad let me tell you guys is ridiculously good they are defensively incredible the bench needs some work I'm not gonna lie uh, Rick Barry not too keen on Richard Jefferson I just his release is just not for me oh I wish it was because he's incredible but I just wanted to have a little bit of a better release but 
Other than him with an iffy release, Rick Barry, uh, I've only played the one game with him, and he didn't feel incredible. Uh, but other than that, this team is incredible. The two centers could probably deal, deal with upgrading, but for the time being, more than happy with how it is. And like I said, Walt Frazier, we picked him up for 60k. If you guys haven't got him, I can highly, highly recommend going ahead and picking him up. Uh, looks like you'll still be able to get him for about 50, well, about 50, no, 60 to 65k. And I would strongly recommend paying that price for him. Um, so, in terms of other players that we can actually add into the squad for the time being, I don't think there's anyone I want to. We need to keep our empty spare for the final uh, Spotlight Series set, which is going to come out hopefully this Friday. It'd be awesome if it was this Friday and we didn't have to wait too long to actually get him. But for that set, I've had a lot of people ask me how much do I think it's going to cost. I would say easily over half a mil. Easily over half a mil. Could be up to 750k. It depends how bad 2k uh, or how tough 2k are going to make it. Uh, I don't think it will be near a million empty. I think that would be pricing out the majority of people. But I could easily see it being 5 to 6 to 700k. So stack up your NT now, which is exactly what I am doing. That's why I'm not going to spend any uh, at the moment. But when that card drops, it is going to be incredible. And of course, that is going to go in at the starting shooting guard position. Eddie Jones will come down to the bench. Norman Powell will be kicked out, which is a shame because I do absolutely love this card. For a Ruby card, uh, we have played so many more than two games. For a Ruby card that costs literally like a 1,000 MT, what a purchase he has been. But will be Eddie Jones on the bench, a Galax Opal in the starting lineup. Uh, and then, of course, we can go about, hopefully, uh, spending some tokens when they update the token market. If they don't put any decent uh, Galaxy Opals in there, but they put loads of good pink diamonds in there, I'll happily go through the pink diamond board, get to the Galaxy Opal board, and pick up uh, Galaxy Opal David Robinson. So that would be very, very exciting indeed. So let's just go ahead and get our guy, Jason Kidd, evoed up. So we're going to go to Amethyst, we are going to go to Point Guards, and we are going to find Jason Kidd right here and we'll just put some contracts on him because he's going to go up to diamond and i really don't want to be paying for diamond contracts on him so we only need five points going to be really nice and easy and the way i evoed him up i did actually go into a couple of games of rookie domination the reason i did that is because of the event that was on yesterday it gave out two bonus tokens for every domination win so that definitely made it worth it. i don't usually like doing the rookie domination but i thought because i'm getting tokens as well it definitely did make it worth it uh, and that is how i was able to use rick van rick van horn keith van horn to assist for jason kidd and of course jason kidd to assist for keith van horn as well why am i struggling with his name i don't know uh but yeah so we managed to get him done he was getting like 50 assists per game getting like 150 points per game if i was going for points instead um so yeah it was becoming really really nice and easy uh, and this should be a really really easy game as well so let's kick this out to jason kidd in the corner for a three-pointer not the best release but he is going to nail home that three-pointer very nice at least you just need one more three and then he is done and he's ready to go up to the evo diamond level like i said it's going to be interesting to see how he compares now to walt frazier and baron davis that is going to be very interesting to see let's take the mid-range that is a green light so let's jump into some comments uh so let me just pull them up right here so elonge musk or something like that says should i sell my diamond he do and buy lamar odom um it depends on the price of lamar odom to be fair at the moment because obviously we're just seeing that diamond he do hello what's just gone on there there we go yeah diamond he do sells for about 30k which is so cheap for how good he is is Lamar Odom much better? In my opinion, I don't think so. I prefer Hidu Turkle out of the two of them just because I far, far get on better with Hidu Turkle's release rather than the base 11 of Lamar Odom. I really didn't enjoy that release when we had him. So I would say definitely uh, stay with Hidu Turkle. Keep your MT as well because there's no point spending that extra MT for a player that's not, in my opinion, going to make you any better at the game. Defensively, they're both pretty solid. Obviously, speed. I think Hidu Turkle is a bit quicker. Driving, obviously, Lamar Odom has that, but... Other than that, the very similar players, but obviously if you can save your MT, then definitely do it. Rex Curtis says, Walt Frazier is a demigod. Pick him up, love the work, keep it going. Well, thank you very much, Rex. Uh, and yeah, I did. I have already got him in my squad. Uh, and then Stephen Griffin also says, Walt, Walt is range extender away from being a top point guard, but I still rate him very highly. And yeah, absolutely. I'm not really too fussed about having uh, the range extender on my point guards. Uh, obviously, Baron Davis does have it, and he is really goddamn nice. Um, but yeah, Walt Frazier. And those two games I played with him, he was exceptional. Uh, his defensive abilities are in just next level. Absolutely next level. Uh, and I would, yeah, definitely strongly recommend him to anyone as well. We're going to try and pull this one for three. It's a full white. That's going to be a brick. We're going to give him another shot in the corner. It's not a good release again. Oh, God. Jason Kidd's release 
is a bit of a problem, not going to lie. Uh, I need to just practice and practice with him, but I just don't have the time. Uh, and then Avert Sar says, this is 2K's way of making money, or making people spend their money before the new spotlights come out. And that is a very good point. If you're spending a couple hundred thousand on this uh, Pink Diamond Chris Stapps, it's a bit of an L in my book, not going to lie. He's not an exceptional card. Um, obviously, he's a very good name and he is 7'3", but other than that, it's not an incredible card. And I would definitely say, hold on to your MT as we just get blocked. Well, we didn't get blocked, but we just got stopped right there. That was a little bit embarrassing. And then Giannis gets a block, uh, but it doesn't quite go through. We should be able to win this one easily, but for some reason, just not scoring every possession down like I usually do. Uh, yeah, Jason Kidd, his release is the only problem with him, but we do catch a green light there with 33% contested. So next up, George. My guy, George, back in the comments. Sorry I missed out on the videos. I've had some family trouble, so... All the best to you. Hope things are getting better. I've only got around 70 tokens waiting for the token reward update for another diamond reward. And yeah, hopefully they do add in some nice diamonds. Last year they put in down to the ruby level. They didn't put any in any new sapphires, but they did put in a ruby Dwight Howard, if my memory serves. And he was the lowest rated player that they did add in. So hopefully every tier gets some good players. Uh, last year they added some decent diamonds. I can remember a diamond Carl Kuzma uh, last year and a diamond Marcus Aldridge, which a lot of people actually went for. So hopefully this year... They can do something similar. It's ISO says, JD, do a gameplay on Miles Turner. That Amethyst is a serious top five center in the game. He is a very good card. He, is, he has been in my gameplays. Obviously, he was in the two games that were played earlier on today. He's a really good backup center. He could probably be my starting center, to be fair. He knocked down a couple of really nice shots. Um, are we going to get a steal there? Yes, we are. And Jason Kidd is running. Good lad. And yeah, for the price he is, which is literally like 5K, he is just fantastic. So moving on, we have uh, Cody. So it took a bit of a break from my team. Just frustration build up with packs, but decided to get back into it. So time to binge the Road to Glory series and play catch up. So glad to have you back, Cody. Uh, and yeah, this game mode can definitely get frustrating at times. Sometimes it is good just to take a little breather, take a break and just refresh yourself uh, and come back feeling energized and wanting to grind away at the game. And then the last comment before we get out of this game, Philippe Elite says, should I grind for Jason Richardson? Absolutely not whatever you do at this point of the game do not grind for jason richardson i mean you can grind for uh the dominations so that's a good idea you know getting through all dominations is a good grind in my opinion because you do get so much mt you get so many tokens uh and of course you can evo players at the same time but in terms of actually doing the evos uh for the domination players themselves and then of course like the diamond jerry stackhouse and bob mcadoo not worth it at all. Of course, you've got to do all of them before you even get the Jason Richardson, and then you have to evo up the Jason Richardson himself. So, in my opinion, that is a big no-no. So, let's see what Jason Kidd is saying. But yeah, if I would have done that Jason Kidd, uh, not Jason Kidd, the Jason Richardson, I would have regretted it massively. So, I'm really happy that I didn't do that. And let's see if we are going to get the vault to open up today. We actually do. Okay, spoke it into existence. Is it going to be one token? Of course it is. Of course it's one token. What else is it going to be? Um, but anyway, we do get uh, 1,500 MT as well. We must have hit a milestone. We're at 3,000... Wow, words. 370 wins, which is pretty damn nice. But more importantly, we are at a Diamond Jason Kidd. So this is the first Spotlight card that I've taken to Diamond since Clyde Drexler. So for a long time, I haven't evoed up these cards. Uh, if we come down here, you can see we've got the Iggy we didn't take up, Isaiah Thomas, Dirk, and Dwight Howard. I mean, these guys, we only took two stars up. Um, but Jason Kidd, they've lowered the stats a little bit on what you actually need to get these cards evoed, which is really nice. So I'm happy they've done that. And let's go ahead and get this guy done. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at what his final stats are after this evo. So a diamond Jason Kidd looking really goddamn nice. 95 rated. And we need 1,900 points, 900 assists, which is a lot. 100 rebounds, which we'll probably get just naturally. And then 60 games. So... That is a lot of assists. The points isn't too bad, I guess. Um, but, again, like I was saying, they've uh, calmed down on these EVA requirements. You can pretty much compare these two right here. So, just to get Kareem to Diamond, 1,800 points, 900 boards. But, whereas this is Diamond to Pink Diamond. So, they've definitely calmed down, which is good to see. So, let's go ahead and compare him to Walt Frazier down on the bench right here. And we'll go to Point Guards and Jason Kidd. So... Uh, same height, uh, Jason Kidd is £5 heavier, not that that really makes any sort of difference. Obviously, Hall of Fame badges at this point is massively favoured towards Walt Frazier, but Jason Kidd does have clamps, diamond, and defensive leader, which are arguably three of the best bad 
badges in the game. Uh, there's not really any other Hall of Fame badges that he doesn't have that are super, super effective. He's got Quick First Step and he's got go a Bronze Intimidator. So neither of them have Range Extender, which is fine. Like I said, I don't really, not really too fast about that. They've both got Quick Draw. Uh, in general, I think Walt definitely has the better badges. But let's look at the stats right here. So... Uh, driving layup goes to Walt, all the shooting goes to Walt, uh, the dunking goes to Walt as well. Uh, defensively, very similar, and actually Jason Kidd has a 95 interior D. Not that that really matters for a point guard, but it's still good to have. Rebounding, very much the same, speed exactly the same as well. Um, so, the, yeah, offensively is only really where Walt Frazier is better, but it is quite a reasonably uh, big gap, a uh, big step up from Jason Kidd to Walt Frazier, but of course, if we go and take a look at what he gets, oh, he's gone right to the top at the uh, pink diamond level. So three-pointer would go to 90, mid-range would go to 92, ball handling would go to 95, free throw would go to 84. Um, so he does get some really nice shooting boosts. And of course, badges wise, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Hall of Fame quick first step, Hall of Fame intimidator, catch and shoot, ankle break. I mean, that is ridiculous. I think at the pink diamond level, he would probably uh, easily be my backup point guard, but... Do I want to put that much into a player? And again, like I don't really enjoy his release too much, but he is really solid. And defensively, obviously, uh, he's incredible. And yeah, and comparable to with Walt Frazier, who himself is a fantastic defender. Uh, does his block get a rating, uh, a bump up in uh, the thing? He does. So it goes up to 6-5 block. So that's all right as well. Uh, and then, yeah, offensive rebounding. He actually gets some rebounding at the pink diamond level. Didn't even realize that. So defensive rebounding goes up to 78, which isn't damn bad. And he even gets a bit of post game as well. Post moves goes up to 78 as well. So they really do treat this Jason Kidd pretty damn nice when he gets up to this pink diamond level. Um, am I going to actively try and get him there? I don't think so. Uh, as I'm doing challenges, if they release another Spotlight series, obviously they will release another Spotlight series. Uh, we can obviously just use him at the point guard position for someone else who needs points. We can just use him for assists. So for the time being, I'm probably not going to do him. But I think in the long run, this card at a pink diamond level is going to be really goddamn nice. But for the fact that you can buy this Walt Frazier, who's better at the moment for just 60,000 MT, um, I think that's a bit of a no-brainer in my opinion. In terms of the other Evos, of course, I will try and get this, uh, where are we down here, Keith Van Horn done uh, pretty quickly, because that's going to be another 15k in the bag, uh, and obviously I really hope these uh, Edie Turkley starts that, which it does look like going to, which is really annoying. I'll start listing them up for like 23k, just try and get them gone, because like I said, if this tournament didn't improve their price, I'm not sure what will. There's people already on like 500 points. Like how many games have they got through in 25 minutes? It's just like if you don't get rage quits, you are not going to be getting anywhere in that tournament. Like I said, for a card like that, that is just embarrassing. You can literally get 101st and you're getting a Sapphire card. Like the disrespect is so real. At this point in the game, it should easily be a pink diamond reward uh, for the top 10. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely very, very dated and in my opinion, not really worth it at all. So uh, for tomorrow, I'm going to try and collect a few more cars, but realistically, there's no one I can actually buy. <laughs> if you look down here, uh, they are just like the top tier cards that we don't have. There's a couple of cards that we don't have that are down here that are like bronzes and silvers because they are very expensive. But other than that, it's just like the amethyst that we don't actually have, so it's tough to buy them. And then even in the premium sets, there's really not many people we can buy. There's a couple of amethysts that we are short of, uh, and then of course in the terms of the moment set, there's a couple of amethysts as well, but most of them are pretty pricey, and of course moments of the week five players are still ridiculous, so I'm not going to be picking up any of those. Legacy Series 2, all of these amethysts are pretty damn expensive. And then we come over here, and I've already got the majority of these players, so I don't really see how we're going to get these 42 cards. Uh, of course, I have been teetering and like going back and forth with picking up all of these emerald reward cards. It's not going to cost me much in terms of the tokens, but until they actually update the token market, I don't want to spend tokens uh, for the fear of like, because like 60 tokens is of course like one diamond card. So if there's a diamond card that comes out that I already want, obviously I know I've got enough tokens at the moment, but if that I say, if I spend those 60 tokens and then it comes to a point where I can't afford a Galaxy Opal by like 60 tokens, I'm just going to be really annoyed with myself. So for the time being, I'm going to hold on to them, but uh, definitely looking forward to seeing what 2K do with the update. So that's going to be it for this video. Let me know how. Let me know below how far you've taken the Jason Kidd and whether or not you think it is a good move to take him up to the pink diamond level. But even still, having it at the diamond level is a really, really nice option. So that's going to be it for the second video of the day. As usual, all comments from this video and the video that went out earlier today, I'll go through in tomorrow's videos. So as usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.